I'm walking through Ljubljana now, here the capital of the NATO member state uh, Slovenia and I'm very happy I see a lot of European flags but unfortunately I've not seen a single Ukraine flag. <laughs> this is very worrying. What's going on? Because Slovenia has provided military equipment for Ukraine and so Slovenia is part of the EU training mission and it's training. Contrary to Austria, shame Austria, servant of Russia, contrary to Croatia, which is under the yoke of Orban and of course Orban himself who has betrayed Europe. And now we are in a situation where Slovenia, I was confident to see a lot of Ukrainian flags, but somehow on the public buildings, contrary to many other countries I've now visited, I don't see, maybe I will find it, yeah. I will look now, but I was at Minister of Finance, some other public buildings, the Opera, and here in the center of Ljubljana, I cannot spot a single Ukraine flag. Because I guess these are also other public administration buildings here. Yeah, a lot of EU flags, EU flags, EU flags. I guess these are all the central ministry uh, buildings. Well, I've, you know, the, I was very active in Slovenia in the early 90s during my student times. I was also relatively active before 2004, but Slovenia was already so clear candidate. I didn't focus on that, I was more focused on Croatia, Romania, Bulgaria. So I really cannot claim to have helped Slovenia so much. But I was several times here on conferences, seminars. It was always very nice. They are very pro-European, but I would like them to be also pro-Ukrainian. And I don't see this now at least visible in the street. I cannot see that. Maybe Yes, man, they are of course NATO member. I'm very proud they have the Alpine Training Center for NATO. That's very good. Let's see here, I'm at the main street. That's very good. Here you see this central street. But also here I don't see any Ukraine flag to my utter disappointment. I'm trying to find it out. I'm now going to the old town on my search of a Ukraine flag because I obviously have one with me you will see it in a moment <laughs> because I'm always traveling with Ukraine flag these days because we are one year in the war and solidarity matters and what I've read Slovenia has done something but not very convincingly unfortunately so I'm just trying to find out I'm entering now this best shopping street it's the historical center Slovenia here this is a typical regional capital of the former monarchy in the building structure and then of Yugoslavia and since 30 years it's independent country it has made tremendous effort I always say Austria can learn so much from Slovenia they got the most of the things right not the tax system by the way that's the one problem they have but they have done a lot of progress in economics they have tripled the GDP in 25 years this is very good and did something they have renovated the city they did regional development the european style they have joined obviously nato oecd they have implemented sme policy they have had still too high taxes and they copied this social democratic progressive style of taxation Okay, that's, you know, here of course Austria has a big role to play and they are like, they always have the slogan, they are the southern uh, side of the Alps. Today I have a bit of a rain moment, but okay, it's the 1st of March. It's not completely uncommon to have rain at the 1st of March or snow rain or something like this, but it's not too bad. Huh? So here I'm coming to the central square. This is the most beautiful and most important. Huh? No, the public services here work. Here, this is the main square of Slovenia. This is the castle. This is very beautiful. But nowhere is the Ukraine flag to be found. Not a single one. Maybe I was not everywhere, you know, I'm just here for some hours because the train connection is so bad to Slovenia. And I'm a convinced fan of Mrs. K. Wessler's climate ticket. 
and she has not been able to provide any decent services. I have now six and a half hours back to Vienna, three times changing to reach Slovenia from Vienna and it's kind of a disgrace. But here this video is about the amazing opportunity of visiting that city and looking for a Ukraine flag, which unfortunately I don't find it. Huh? That is very unfortunate. That's Prezhen. That's the most important hero of this nation in terms of uh, that's like uh, the uh, Shevchenko. He is the national poet who has worked on Slovenian identity and that's the castle of Slovenia. Let's never forget this was the capital of uh, what is now Carinthia and uh, no Ukraine flag, nowhere, maybe up there, maybe somewhere, but not a single Ukraine flag to my utter disappointment, I don't see. So they are doing something here, but not a lot. So to my utter disappointment, I have to bring a Ukraine flag myself. And uh, let's see if I can find one. I have obviously to look, yeah. Oh, very good. I have a Ukraine flag. For Slovenia because you missed it Slovenia here it is Ukraine I have a very clear Ukraine flag here for you and I hope that you will support Ukraine continuously and also show it it would be very helpful to show the world that Slovenia stands with Ukraine and please I call for Slovenia to raise the Ukraine flag here in the center of Ljubljana thanks a lot all the best bye